Not everyone realizes that red foxes are in the dog family or that they are one of three species of wild dog that are found in northern Virginia. Gray foxes and coyotes are also found in our region, but red foxes are the ones you will see most often. The alternating wooded and open spaces of Reston are the perfect habitat for red foxes. Now if you read a field guide, it's going to tell you that red foxes are nocturnal. And that can generally be true in urban and suburban areas where there's a lot of human activity. But in Reston, where we also have the larger coyote, red foxes tend to be more active during the day. So when you're out and about in our open spaces and on our trails, it's not surprising that you see red foxes active or hunting. And again, that is to avoid direct competition and possibly being eaten by the larger coyote. Red foxes breed during late winter. This is when they unleash their most unnerving habit. The females scream to let males know where they are and help them locate them. And yes, it's a scream. Even when you know what the sound is, standing in the dark, it can make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. I've spoken to local police officers who've responded to calls of noises in the woods, and they have had much difficulty explaining that that scary noise was actually a fox, a local wildlife, and not a crime in progress. Now red foxes are great neighbors. They don't bother trash and they rarely bother people or their pets. I often hear people say foxes are rabid. Rabid foxes are rare and they don't survive the disease. As a pet owner with a dog and a neighborhood fox, the biggest issue I've ever had with the fox is it's scent marking my dog's toys. I enjoy keeping an eye out for the fox and its young, which are called kits. Now not everyone gets excited to have foxes in their yard, and you can discourage them with some simple and harmless practices. If they are living under your porch or deck, find out where they enter and leave. Place rocks and leaves to discourage them. I've read that ammonia soaked rags work well. You could even leave your stinky unwashed gym socks since they don't like human scents either. Now if you're really active on your deck, that may encourage them to leave as well. Anything that makes the adults uncomfortable will prompt them to move their kits to another den site. I hope that you can find the tolerance to enjoy these wild neighbors. Watching red foxes raise their kits is a fun and valuable wildlife experience. And please don't forget to contact or visit us here at Walker Nature Center with your wildlife sightings, stories, or concerns, or to sign up for one of our many programs.